Hello friends, welcome to BBC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating us. If you have any doubt, please ask in the comment section or else you can be able to join us in the Instagram which is in the video's description as well as the about of the YouTube channel. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about fundamentals of entomology. I am going to cover the excretory system in insects. So while seeing the excretory systems, I have shown the picture of the excretory system of an insect so where you can able to see the mid gut as well as malpighian tubules and the hind gut rectum so i can able to give a such small intro about the excretory system in insects so they are nothing but the removal of waste products of metabolism especially the nitrous compounds which is mainly released from their body due to the excretion process made from the insects so the it helps the insect to maintain the salt water balance as well as the psychological homeostasis in the living so the excretory systems which are present in the insect are malpighian tubules nephro nephrocytes fat bodies eunocytes integument tracheal system as well as rectum so these are the seven seven organs which are responsible for the excretory process made in the human insect body so while seeing the first one malpighian tubules so the malpighian tubules are said to be thin and we use it to have a blind endal tubules so they are originated near the junction of mid and hind gut so they are predominantly involved in the regulation of salt and water as well as the nitrogenous waste excre excretion from their body so in the malpighian tubules an insect was first discovered by marcelo malfi malfigi so because of his work they use it to give these tubules as malpighian tubules oh, wait a minute oh, okay and the next one is nephrosis so these are the cells that see the hemolymph of the for the product they metabolize so they are also known as the precardial cells so they use it to collect the waste products from their blood cells so one of the important one as well as the fat bodies a loose or compact aggregation of these cells mostly the tryptophytic suspended in the semo cell responsible for the storage and excretion of the fatty bodies from their body so these fat bodies are used to used as well as the responsible for the storage of excess waste from the insect body and the fourth one which is an eunocytes so they are said to be known as the specialized cells of hemo cell which is uh, also known as the epidermis or fat bodies with a they are used for the main function but one of the main function of the eunocytes is said to be known as the excretion and the fifth one integument so the outer covering of the living tissue of an insect which also plays an important role in their excretion process and the sixth one is the tracheal system so the insect used to exchange system as well as comprising trachea and tracheoles and the seventh one is a rectum which is the post part of hindgut which also takes place in the excretion of the insect body so among the above organs malpighian tubules are said to be the major organs of excretion which is mainly in the insect body so after that the excretion and the osmoregulation process which is made in the insects are in insect phases they are said to be mainly in the solid pellets or well as in liquid form so but they both use it to contain the digest undigested food as well as the metabolic excretion which is done from the insect body but aquatic insects mainly excretes only the diluted waste from their anus directly into water by flushing with the water uh, but in terrestrial insect must conserve water body so that require efficient waste disposal in concentration or even in dry forms so they stimulatively avoid the toxic waste of nitrogen present in their body so they use it to have a special excretion system for low usage of water from their body but both the terrestrial and aquatic insect must conserve ions such as sodium potassium and chloride ions so limiting in their food are lost in the water by diffusion so one of the main as well as important needs taken in the diet so therefore the production of insect excreta which is urine or pellets is also a result of two related process which is known as excretion as well as the osmoregulation so by the maintenance of favorable osmotic pressure and ionic concentration of body fluid they are said to be equalized in their body so the excretion is also as well as osmoregulation is said to be referred as the excretory systems which is performed largely by the malpighian tubules as well as the hindgut 
which is present in the digestive system so I have given the pictures of the digestive as well as the excretory system where you can be able to see the forecut, midcut as, as well as hindcut which also contain the salivary glands, gastric CK, malphigene tubules, colon, rectum as well as the anus. So I have, it's the picture of the malphigene tubule where you can be able to see that malphigene tubules are said to be connected to the midcut and the nitrogenous waste, water and amino acids are said to be observed. And the reabsorption of water, amino acids, sugars and salts are said to be done in the malphigene tubules and the only the nitrogenous waste as well as other excretory substance are said to be removed from the anus. So the, the comb-like structure which is present in the size of the malphigene tubules are said to be known as the distal and the curving structure which is known as the proximal and the ileum and column is said to be the joint for the rectal pads after the anus uh, is said to be removed so after, while saying mal malphigene tubule is the main organ of bowel excretion it is you use it to act in association with the rectum and ileum and the outgrowth of the alimentary canal and free free around a way in the hemolymphs so which is that blood so they use it to absorb the waste material from there consists of long and thin tubules from a single layer of cells surrounded binding them ending is known as the lumen and the each tubule is said to be extremely covered by peritoneal coat and supplied with the muscle fiber which is aiding in peritalysis as well as the tracheoles in the insect body so it's the picture of the each and every tubule which is from the malphigene tubule as well as the midcut so while seeing the cross-sectional view of the malphigene tubules they used to have a longitudinal muscle a lumen brush border nucleus as well as the glandular tissue so the first one A is said to be known as the location of malphigene tubule and the B which is said to be known as the transverse section of the malphigene tubule and the C is said to be known as the longitudinal section of the malphigene tubule. So when seeing their functional difference they are used to have a distal secretory region so as well as the proximal absorptive region where they use it to remove as well as store the excess water as well as in proximal absorption region where we use it to filter out the solutes as well as amino acids in that blood and the number of malphigene tubules present in based on the insect you see the small smaller as well as the actual aphids and aphid tails as well as spring tails used to have the absence of malphigene tubules scales scale insect used to have two numbers and in locusts which is more than 200 in cockroaches around 60 so based on the insects and their environment they live the malphigene tubules is said to be present and the psychological of the malphigene tubules they use it to act as a filter at the secretary region as well as isomotic motic but ionically dissimilar to the hemolymphs and uh, they use selectively absorb water as well as the solutes but eliminate other from their insect body so the isometric filter they are said to be filled with high in potassium concentration as well as low in sodium as well as chloride uh, ion concentration which is an also in major ions mm. and they actually transport especially potassium into the tube lumen which generates an osmotic pressure which you use it to gradient the passive flow of water in the body for the removal for the removal of active ions from the body so the sugars and most of the amino acids are said to be passively filtered by the hemolymph via the junction of the tubule cells but the amino acids and the non-metabolic toxic organic compounds are actively transported into the tubule manual so the sugar is said to be reabsorbed from the lumen as well as returned to the hemolymph so while seeing the psychology of malphigene tubules continuation they continuously secrete the active of each and malphigene tubules lead to the primary flow of urine from its lumen towards and into the gut and in rectum the urine is said to be modified as the removal of solutes and water to maintain the fluid as well as the ionic hemostatus of the body and after that we are going to see about the cryptonephra which is the distal end of the malphigene tubules which are held in contact with the rectal wall and the, the perinephric membrane so which is concerned with the efficiency dehydration of feces and for the elimination as well as the absorption of ionic regulations 
so it is said to be mainly found in adult coleoptera coli uh, larval leptoptera as well as law normal simpians so it's the structure of cryptonephric system so they use it to contain malphigian tubules in common trunk as well as the rectum as well as the malphigian tubules enclosed with the pectoral space is it to be given in this picture you can able to see it and the while seeing the functions of malphigian tubules they are said to be mainly for the excretion function and they are mainly concerned in the removal of nitrogenous waste from the body so the other accessory functions which is done by the malphigian tubules are splitting secretion in split block as well as light production in bilotifla which is known as the firefly where you can able to see as well as the cell production in larva of neuroptera was the functions which is made by the malphigian tubules in different insects so the uh, nitrogen excre excretion which is made by the terrestrial insects are said to be done as uric acids or its salts are said to be known as the urates so the urates are said to be water insoluble and requires law less amount of water for the waste product removed from their body so these type of excretion of nitrogenous waste is known as uricotelism and in aquatic they use it to excrete the waste water as ammonia which is said to be freely soluble in water and they also requires um, more amount of water for the waste product removal so the type of excretion is known as ammonitelism and the storage excretion so the excretory waste materials are to be retained within the body in different sites the uric acid is said to be stored in urates which is in the cells of fat bodies which is mainly in american cockroach as well as the uric acid stored in body wall giving white color which is found in the red cotton bug as well as in the uric acid is which is stored in male accessory glands to produce the outer coat of spermatophore which is excreted during copulation in this process and the uric acid stored in wing scales which gives white color in the pirate butterflies and the waste products of pupal metabolism meconium which is stored and released during the adult emergence stages in the larvae so i have given the lecture notes in description if you have please comment in the section or join us within the instagram page and you can able to ask your doubts with us and if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bs agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video thank you i'll catch up in next videos